Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Today, I'm going to run through the recent changes to starting equipment that uh, came through in the last update of the game. Uh, these only affect Mimus and Vulcan currently, but I do believe the developers are working on other uh, other locations and the start equipment for them. So normally, you start with a fairly standard pack of stuff with um, like 30 frames and 50 iron sheets but they've changed it around a bit so now let's have a look we start with well first of all let's just see what we've got on the ground so here we're on Mimus by the way this is Mimus no atmosphere long way from the Sun it's a, a moon of Saturn that's Saturn and its rings so here we have a fuel tank and that has got 1500 moles of fuel in there so that can be used for generating power and what have you I don't think there's any coal on Mimus anymore. I think they removed the coal. So you need something to generate power. The sun's too far away to do it without millions of solar panels. There's no atmosphere so you can't use wind turbines. So you need something else and it's a fuel generator basically. So that's the first thing. That's ad uh, an addition. You have your standard, where we go around here a bit, oxygen tank and water tank. Then let's come around here, back to here, underneath the What's this one? Construction supplies. We now have 45 iron frames and 40, 60 is that? Iron wall kit. Um, 60 wall kits, 100 iron sheets, 50 plastic, 50 glass, auto lathe, and arc furnace. Fairly standard. They've increased some of the quantities of things there, but it's fairly standard. We then come to the electrical supplies. And here you will see there, are a, there is a box. So the box is a container within a container. So I can take the box out, drop it on the ground, oh, 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 and unpack. Come on, unpack. Where'd everything go? <laughs> okay, so I've unpacked it, but I didn't see where it went. Okay, so we've got a gas canister there. Oh, there it is. Uh, what's that one? A power connector. I think it was something else in there, but it's gone. I don't know where it went. Um, let's stick them back in there for now. We've got two big batteries. We have uh, power controllers, cabling. Uh, more steel, I've got some steel sheets this time. Uh, battery kit, which is good, that's a starting battery, station battery. You'll need that um, if you've got no coal. Uh, battery chargers, this one. Again, this is the airlock supplies. It's got everything you need in here to make a simple airlock. So obviously there's no atmosphere, so you need one pump and one vent. And it's got everything you need in there for making that. As I said, you've got the oxygen and the water supply. So water doesn't become such a major issue to start. Um, and then we've got the survival supplies, which is our beacon, flag, a fire extinguisher. We have a water bottle package here with four water bottles in it. A um, Another box with six cereal bars. That's another one there with another six cereal bars. So this is food you can use early in the game. Um, you have a scrubber, small battery, a um, couple of filters in there. This one we have a container mount, a locker kit, a table, microwave, egg carton. So some of these used to be in one of these boxes basically, in one of these crates. They've now put it in a box. This one's got a flare gun, uh, road flares, which are the normal flares you have, the little red ones with the white top, and some mining charges. So they've also updated the mining charges, so now you can, uh, rather than having to dig all the time, go around and blow things up to mine. Um, that could be quite fun. In this one again, they've condensed things a bit. You've got a couple of packets of seed, you've got a water canister there with some water in it, some water pipes, uh, grow light, which is normal, um, a tank connector, portal connector, water filling station. So previously you just have to make these. Um, you've got five hydroponics trays, when in the past you'd have a, a portable hydroponics. You've got a utility kit for um, connecting the water system, that's our liquid one. And then here we have an atmospherics unit, which so we can uh, use it for um, 
heating or cooling or turn it into a filtration system or something like that or an electrolyzer we've got some pipes pipe valves radiators which is good liquid radiator um, some gas radiators and some pressure regulators so things everything here pretty much you need to get a base started um, sterling engine gas so sorry I'm curious what's in here where's my pad there it is oh that's what I picked up earlier wasn't it? what was that that one flying out oh portable generator um, oh so it's just nitrogen it's got 0 0.009 moles of nitrogen okay but oh, I've opened it now <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, I can just go back in there. What else we got? Some pipes, obviously, some liquid, uh, some gas valves, gas utility, um, electrical parts, uh, Stirling engine. So a Stirling engine um, can take heat input and it has hot gas on one side, cold gas on the other, and from that it can generate energy. That's what you need the um, Stirling engine gas for basically acts as an intermediate gas. Um, you just need a temperature differential. So you need a radiator on one side, preferably this in a room with some atmosphere and some pipes to the outside radiating in any heat and any hot gas coming into the Stirling engine and then just a vent or a cowling. Um, so that's everything on Mimus, so that uh, gives you a better start. Okay, so bear with me, now I'll switch over to Vulcan, which is the other one that changed. And here we are back in Vulcan. Now, for those of you who haven't played Vulcan, it's a difficult dif um, place to build. It's a real challenge. You can see, as a, you know, uh, the ground is absolutely molten. You've got uh, magma down there. Um, the whole landscape is charred. The atmosphere is 52% volatiles. So any oxygen here ignites, basically, causing ignition. Um, so you've got to be careful of that. So what do we start with? We start with here, I think this is a gas of nitrogen. Sorry, a tank of nitrogen. Um, you already start with a hard suit on Venus, because uh, it is quite challenging. So yeah, that's nitrogen. We've got 99.3% of liquid nitrogen and 0.65% of gaseous nitrogen. Now that will slowly turn into gaseous nitrogen because it's hot here. Although the temperature is quite high in that tank. Oh no, it's not 88k. What else do we have? We have other tanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. We have water and oxygen again. Oh, and there's another tank there. That I nearly lost. And I can't get the handle. There we go. Where's my lander? There it is. Let's just put this over here. I think this one's oxygen. Yeah, O2. along with another tank of O2 and tank of water. We then have a uh, atmospheric supplies. So you have in here a couple of atmospheric units, um, some vent kits, some insulated pipes, um, radiators, utility units, uh, hydraulic pipe bender, which is a good start as well, and some more pipes and valves. In this one you have uh, some more cereal bars, so again, they're giving you something to start the game with so you don't have to worry too much about getting food really early on. Obviously you do need to get food. They've replaced the... Um, yeah, if you notice we've got no tins of food, they've changed that so you now get cereal bars basically. Uh, water bottles again, used to have three water bottles typically, you've now got a bottle or a cart with four water bottles in it. A uh, flag, not really about that flag extinguisher there, not really. That's a beacon, what's in this one? Uh, portable package, this one's contained a portable scrubber, small battery, a couple of filters. So you can that'll set up a filter system. This one, um, residential supplies pack, contains a mount, locker, tables, my grave, a cotton again, so you can set up cooking your own food. And that one's a flare gun, road flare, mining charges, similar to what was in Mimus. This is your food locker, and this one you've got 10 hydroponics trays, again you've got a bottle filler, utility, uh, portable connector, grow light, and some switchgrass seeds, okay. 
and then water and water pipes. So, hmm. okay. Um, you have here you have a vending machine that's for good for storage, a satellite dish. Okay, that I was going to say you don't have many starting vegetables or seeds in here. You're going to have to you'd have to set up a trading station so there's a small uh, satellite dish allowed to set up a trading station quite quickly. Communications motherboard, yeah, there'll be a computer there, so those three things go together, and a landing pad basic kit, so, yeah, so this is to make sure, you know, to get your training early. Um, and there's 600 credits on that card, do we have another one on us or not? We do with another 200, so between them we've got 800 credits, starting credits, so you should be able to buy seeds with that, as in, when needed. And again, we've now got uh, more frames, more walls, more glass, more steel sheets, our auto lathe and uh, the arc furnace so pretty standard stuff there and in this one what is this one electrical supplies so you've got your power controllers additional battery cabling upright wind turbine so there is an atmosphere on Vulcan as you can see it's 126 degrees at the moment that's at night it rockets during the day we have solar panel kits another big battery battery charger and what we've got in here portable generator power connector and fuel canister and I think I've been through everything there. So yeah, so there are changes from the standard one-off lander with just a few basic items in it. So they've, they've tried to make things a bit better for starting on Mimus and Vulcan. They're really challenging places to build. Heat is a real killer on Mimus, sorry, on Vulcan. Lack of resources is a killer on Mimus. So yeah. So that's it guys. There's any changes I made. I uh, hope you find this useful. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Starting Flight Gamer, what you need? Good night.